Solving quadratic equation by using quadratic formula. Now, in previous video, we have learned how to solve quadratic equation by using factorization. We also learned how to solve quadratic equation by using completing square methods. Now, we are going to proceed to quadratic formula. Quadratic formula is a formula developed from uh, completing square methods. I'm going to discuss with you how to get this formula and then how to use this formula to solve uh, all types of quadratic equations. Let's start with uh, the general form of quadratic equations, uh, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. In previous videos, when we discussed completing square, we learned that if we would like to use completing square to solve a quadratic uh, equations, we need to make sure that the coefficients of the x squared term is equal to one. And uh, to do this, we divide the whole equations by a. By dividing the equations by a, then we can eliminate the a here and make the coefficients become 1. And uh, if we divide the equations by a, then uh, this is what we get. Okay, So uh, a divided by a, it become 1. And uh, b divided by a, we get, uh, we have this uh, b over a. And c divided by a, we have c over a. Okay, And uh, the next step in completing squared is to split the x terms equally into 2, right? Okay. So, so we have x squared, and then so to split this uh, b over a into 2, then it becomes b over 2a. Yeah? So we have b over 2a x plus b over 2a x. Yeah? Okay, then we shift this uh, c over a to the right-hand side. So it becomes uh, negative c over a. And to complete the square, we need to add the square of the coefficients of x here, right? Okay. So, so we add uh, b over 2a squared. And to balance the equations, we also need to add the b over 2a squared to the right. Okay, so the square complete at this side, and therefore we can straight away write uh, this is equal to x plus b over 2a squared, right? Okay, and uh, for the right-hand side, um, we find the square of this term first. Huh? So this is a b squared over 4a squared. b squared over 4a squared. And uh, to solve the additions of fractions problems, we need to have the same uh, denominators. Uh, the de denominators is 4a squared. To make this to become 4a squared, um, we need to multiply uh, it by 4a. Yeah, okay, this multiply by 4a and this also multiply by 4a. Yeah? So this multiply by 4a become 4a squared and uh, c multiply by 4a become 4ac. Yeah? So it will become minus 4ac over 4a squared. Now we have the same uh, denominators. Okay. And to eliminate the square here, we apply the square root. Okay, so after we apply square root, then in the... Uh, uh, it become x plus b over 2a and uh, this one because uh, we have the same denominators then we can join them together so we join them together so it become uh, b squared minus 4ac over 4a squared and after the applying square roots it become positive negative square root of uh, this whole uh, expressions here okay uh, after that, we move this positive b over 2a to the right-hand side. It becomes uh, negative b over 2a. Yeah? Negative b over 2a. Now, you can also realize that this one, the square root of 4a squared, actually is equal to 2a, right? Okay. After we apply the square root, uh, this will become 2a. Yeah? And uh, this is also 2a, means that we have the same denominators. Okay, so x equal to... Uh, negative b yeah? so b shift to the uh, right hand side become negative b positive negative square root of b square minus 4ac now, i do not put this into the square root there because uh, after square root this side it become 2a which is same as this one so uh, i i square root it okay and make it 2a and then so combine it with this one so it become uh, uh, 2a okay and this is the quadratic formula this is a quadratic formula. So if uh, for a quadratic equation, you know the coefficients a, b, and c, and you plug in the values of a, b, and c into this formula, 
then you can straight away find the root or the solution for the quadratic equation. Now let's see this example where we have three quadratic equations here. Let's see whether we can solve it by using the quadratic formula. And let's start with the first one. Okay, and let's copy the questions. Uh, actually, we don't need to copy the questions as long as we know the values of the coefficient that that is in there. Okay, now uh, this equation is already in the general form. Okay, therefore we can straight away tell the coefficients a, b, and c. Um, the coefficients of a is one. This is one x squared. So therefore we write uh, a equal to one, and the coefficients of the x term on b is equal to four. B equal to four. And uh, this is our C, and uh, C equal to negative 11, okay? And the quadratic formula, X equal to negative B plus minus square root of B square minus 4AC over 2A. So this is the quadratic formula. And let's plug in uh, a, b, and c into this formula. So negative, uh, our b is 4, so negative 4 uh, plus minus square root of b square. b is 4, so we become 4 square, okay, minus 4. Now when you plug in the value into the formulas, uh, uh, preferably to put the brackets. So uh, we put the brackets. And our a equal to 1, and our c equal to negative 11. Okay, let's make this longer. Okay, and as this uh, whole thing divided by 2a, and a equal to 1. So therefore, this is a negative 4 plus minus square root. Okay, now 4 squared equal to 16. 16. And then so negative 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by negative 11. So this becomes positive 44. Positive 44. Negative multiplied by negative, we get positive um, over, two, eh? over 2. So we have negative 4. Now if you want, so you can split them uh, here. So this is negative 4 over 2 and then so positive negative. And then the square root of now 16 plus uh, 44 is equal to 60. 60 divided by 2. Eh? Okay, so this become negative 2. Eh? Okay, plus minus. If you want, you can write this as half. Eh? Half square root of 60, and uh, this is the answer. Okay, so this is the solution for the first quadratic equation. Now let's see uh, question B. Question B. Now for question B, we need to rewrite the equations in general form because this is not yet in general form. Okay, so plus 7x equal to 15. Now for general forms, the right hand side must be equal to 0. So, um, so we need to shift the 15 to the left, so it become negative 15 equal to 0. Uh, then from these equations, we know that our a is equal to 1, our b equal to 7, and our c is equal to, this is c, yeah, is equal to negative 15. Okay, so by applying the quadratic formula, x equal to negative b, plus minus square root of b square minus, sorry, it's a b square minus 4ac over 2a, okay, and our b is equal to 7 plus minus, and this is equal to 7 square, Minus 4a is equal to 1, and c equal to negative 15. 
So divided by two times one. Okay. So this is equal to negative seven plus minus. Um, the square of seven is forty nine. Forty nine. Eh? Um, negative 4 multiplied by negative 15, it becomes positive 60. 60 divided by 2. And then this is equal to negative 7 over 2 plus minus 1 over 2 square root of 109. And uh, this is a solution. Now let's see question C. Question C. Now for question C, the coefficients of x square is three. So our a equal to three, and then our b equal to six. B equal to six, and our c equal to negative seven. Okay. Now take note that this is already in general form, so we don't need to rewrite it again. And uh, for quadratic formula, x equal to negative b plus minus b square minus 4ac over 2a. Okay, so b equal to 6, so minus 6 plus minus um, 6 square minus 4. A C okay divided by two A yeah? A equal to three. So this is equal to negative six plus minus square root of uh, six square equal to thirty six plus eighty four eh? eighty four divided by six eh? okay so uh, negative 6 over 6 plus minus 1 over 6 square root um, 120 120 okay so this is equal to negative 1 plus minus 1 over 6 um, 120 okay and this is the answer so in the exam you can use your calculators find the answer in decimal point if you want.